so let's discuss a problem from thermodynamics so this is uh, related to the topic platinum resistance thermometer so here we will discuss two problems so the first problem is as follows so the resistances of a platinum resistance thermometer at the ice point the steam point and boiling point of sulfur are 2.50 3.50 6.50 ohms respectively so here we are making a measurement uh, on the temperature on the platinum resistance thermometer so on the basis of the based on the property of resistance offered by platinum wire so we are going to measure temperature so that is nothing but platinum resistance thermometer so uh, so for different resistance uh, for different temperatures would be the so here temperature is mainly measured on the basis of what is the resistance shown by the uh, by this particular resistance shown by this particular thermometer so the that decides what is the temperature of the body so here they have given us so here we can see so especially here we can see so that is mentioned that ice point so for ice point the resistance is 2.50 ohms and for the steam point it is 3.50 ohms and for the boiling point of the sulfur so at the point where the sulfur boils so it would be having its own boiling point that is 6.50 ohms respectively and also here they are given us find the boiling point of the sulfur on the platinum scale so here we are needed to find the what is that boiling temperature what is that boiling point we are provided with resistance but we don't know what is that temp temperature hundred point the ice point and next important thing is ice point and steam point measure zero degree and hundred degree respectively so here the ice point is zero degree and uh, steam point is hundred degree centigrade so here we need to see this so based on this the solution would be this so here we can see the temperature on the platinum scale so for the formula for temperature on that platinum scale how to calculate temperature based on resistance is this so here rt minus r naught where rt is nothing but resistance has particular temperature resistance offered by that platinum resistance thermometer and r naught is the resistance offered at uh, ice point and r100 had the uh, steam point so zero and hundred are the zero is the ice point and hundred is the steam point and uh, into hundred so the meaning of this first of all in this nothing but hundred minus r hundred minus r not in this is nothing but how much is the rise for one 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 unit change in resistance so here this is nothing but this hundred by this r not difference r100 minus r0 so uh, 100 degrees is the total difference between uh, ice point and the steam point 100 minus 0 and r100 is r100 minus r0 is nothing but difference between the resistance of uh, ice point and the steam point so 100 divided by so this is temperature difference so this is resistance difference so for this much difference in the resistance the, the this is the difference in the temperature so for unit change in resistance what is the temperature rise so for unit suppose for one ohm change what is the change in temperature whether it is 2 degree centigrade or 3 degree centigrade or what like that so the that is the meaning of this 100 minus or or 100 by or not so that is the meaning of this formula and this is for one ohm uh, how, how much temperature raised for on one ohm change but here this is the resistance change from the steam point sorry from the ice point to the some particular temperature which we needed to measure here so this much difference here we are observing in the resistance so for this much difference 
so what could be the temperature this is for uh, per unit rise in resistance temperature change this is for some t units change in uh, temperature what is the uh, change so uh, what is the uh, te sorry what is temperature change for this much change in resistance that is for rt minus r not change in resistance what is the temperature change so overall so like that based on that so that is this formula now we just need to simply uh, substitute the values here rt is nothing but 6.50 here you can see so here boiling point of sulfur on the boiling point of sulfur or so this is nothing but boiling point of sulfur that is 6.50 and this is or not that is ice point that is 2.50 so 2.50 and this is r100 that is nothing but steam point and this is ice point so that difference so here if we find a difference what will do 3.5 minus 2.5 that is nothing but 1 so uh, here we will get a difference 4 4 into 100 it is 400 so this is the final answer so this is nothing but the boiling point of the sulfur for this much resistance so overall for this much resistance 6.50 resistance this mean this much change in temperature so that is the answer for this question so the boiling point of sulfur is 400 degrees centigrade and next another uh, formula this is another problem based on the same topic so a platinum resistance thermometer reads 0 degrees and 100 degrees at the ice point and boiling point of water respectively so that thermometer which you are using so it is measuring 0 degrees and 100 degrees at the ice point and boiling so as usual ice point and boiling point of the water the resistance of the wire varies with celsius temperature theta as so the resistance of the wire is varies as a prior because temperature resistance of the wire depends on the temperature so based on this resistance only we are measuring the temperature so that the temperature dependence of resistance is formula for this is this temperature uh, dependence formula so the temperature dependence formula is this temperature different dependence of resistance theta is nothing but particular temperature where alpha so alpha and beta are provided with some values so this alpha this beta what will be the reading of this thermometer if it is placed in liquid bath maintained at 15 degrees centigrade so if we place this thermometer at uh, a liquid bath which, whose temperature is 50 degree centigrade so what value is it going to give whether it is going to give 50 degree centigrade or not that one we need to see so the based on the formula so here they have given us rt is equal to r not so for uh, r100 so the resistance of the wire in the thermometer at 100 degree centigrade that means here in the place of t we are having 100 so r not so r100 r not into 1 plus alpha theta so alpha into 100 degree centigrade and beta into 100 degree centigrade whole square so beta t square so in the same manner for 50 degree centigrade so if we take uh, t to be 50 so here we will get 50 in the place of temperature so r50 is equals to r naught 1 plus alpha 50 degrees plus beta 50 degrees whole square the temperature t measured on the platinum scale so but uh, we know now now only we have uh, written this formula so here in this previous form rt minus r naught by r100 so in the place of rt if we use r50 because we need to find what would happen if we place had the liquid bath at 50 degrees centigrade so that one that temperature we need to see so at 50 degrees centigrade if we place what is the temperature it is going to show the thermometer so hence r50 minus r naught so here r100 by r naught so same as usual 100 by r100 minus r naught so how much change in temperature for unit change in resistance so for this much change in uh, resistance overall how much is the change in temperature same as usual 
based on our formula so here so from this formula we could get r 100 minus r naught so this one would be multiplied so we would get three terms so if this if we send this r naught to this side so we would get r 100 minus r naught so that would be this r naught multiplied with this term so hence here you can see alpha 100 plus beta 100 celsius whole square in the same manner uh, r for r, r 50 minus r naught so here r 50 is there this r naught into 1 so r 50 minus r naught we would get so this r naught multiplied with this entire thing so here we can see so alpha 50 degrees plus beta 50 degrees centigrade whole square so alpha 50 degrees centigrade plus beta 50 degrees centigrade whole square so r 50 minus r naught is this based on this formula so like that we could get so now and we know that uh, value of alpha and beta are provided with us so here clearly they have provided us the value of alphas and betas so we just need to put down these values and here temperature 50 for 50 degree bath we are finding so 100 100 so finally on doing calculation we would get this 50.4 degree centigrade so the if we place that uh, thermometer platinum resistance it will not show us uh, exactly 50 degree centigrade but it would show us 50.4 degree centigrade because this is not a ab absolute scale so this is some particular scale uh, where this uh, we are measuring temperature here based on some particular property of a particular substance that is the resistive property of platinum substance so hence uh, here we were uh, instead of 50 degrees we are getting some something like 50.4 degree centigrade so this is the answer for this problem so it is placed in a liquid bath it would show us 50.4 degrees centigrade but not 50 degrees centigrade so these are the two problems related to temperature resistance thermometer so these are the problems so thank you